Celia, uh, you guys had a, a nice week off heading into this uh, week uh, on the road. Just kind of, what did you guys uh, do, and just just for your purposes, what did you do <laughs> during this week? Well, I think it was a really nice break, especially because it was in the middle of the season. And I think um, mentally and physically it was um, very beneficial for all the players. We took some time off after getting some points and we were able to disconnect, recharge the battery. And now we're back in training and honestly, very excited about this week, about being back and just hungry for more points. I'm kind of looking at the last couple of results, obviously, nil-nil in Washington and then uh, the, the game against Houston, you know, you guys have gotten results since mm -hmm. that game in Daytona. Mm -hmm. um, what needs to, to kind of build from those results heading into this one against Kansas City? I think something that we started doing is it was working on principles. I think we are defining who we are on the field and also off the field and we started to have a defined plan and game like style of playing and i think like we're still working on it we still have a little bit of a way to go but things are starting to like click together we're starting to develop that identity and i think just keep working on those principles and on those um bases and just work from there up looking at this kansas city team you've you played them technically twice this year once mm -hmm. in preseason once in regular season and the last time you guys played was a bit wild um you know this team now at this point what are you kind of looking for in terms of, of their uh, danger players and, and just kind of overall of their team? I think because they play with like a really narrow um, defensive back line, we're going to try to like stretch them out, use those like wide um, spaces. And honestly, we've been a very vertical team in a way, but at the same time horizontal. I think we've been really using those pockets, switching the ball from one point through the middle to the other, but being chaotic in the middle, bringing players. And I think that's going to be a really good, um, dangerous weapon that we're going to have. And if we can make those relationships click, we can expose them by like using the wide spaces. Kind of speaking of those wide spaces for you as a fullback, mm -hmm. overlapping into those wide spaces, how has that been just in terms of the, the tactical changes that Seb has been employing? Uh, compared to, to what you did previously with Amanda, just how, how similar, how, how different is it from the mm -hmm. beginning of the season to where mm -hmm. you are now? I definitely think that the formation that we'll, we're playing with right now, it's a lot, it requires the fullbacks a lot more um, aggressive attacking and I think like the midfield that we have have been doing a really good job of like giving us that balance and giving us the opportunity to like get higher and cover in case of like a counter attack. But yeah, it's been great. We've been also like working on our fitness and I think that's like a really important part of the game. So like I said, we've been getting good results. We still have like obviously a long way to go, but it's we're headed in the right direction and we're working on the crucial keys. So I think like as fullback, I'm excited. And like a Spanish player, I love having the ball with my feet. I love connecting and I love like being, playing little rondos around the field. And by having that, opportunity to like get in the attack I, I enjoy that and and it's been really really fun kind of looking at the the defense as a whole you know it's, it's been solid in terms of, of not leaking goals mm -hmm. like you did in the past mm -hmm. what for for your perspective uh, has, has been working and, and how is how has that kind of cohesiveness within that back line improved over the last couple of games you know that's a really really good observation I think that you can lose if you get if you don't get scored and a huge part of that has been the defense line and, and not even the defense the defensive line but like everybody and just like those defensive principles we've been a lot more aggressive um, by putting pressure on the person on the ball and defensively I think the players we finally like have the cohesion that is like necessary we have that communication and we've been getting clean sheets which is like crucial for the game by allowing our forwards to, to have the opportunity to like score, get the ball in the back of the net and then just like getting the three points. But it's been great working with um, the defenders and doing a little more tactical and like also technical um, work as a defender and it's showing results. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. It's okay if we ask her a couple good. questions for I OC today. Really good, in that. good. Sounded good. Felt calm. Um, the 
on a really good run right now. Um, I think it's seven games unbeaten and you know we're aware of that but again we have to focus on ourselves. We're building momentum after each game. Uh, you know going to Washington was a you know a difficult place to go play and we got a positive result. It would have been nice to get the win but we'll take the positives out of it. It's another clean sheet. Um, so going into Kansas you know we have to build on what we've done in the last three games and we know that there's not a lot of games left, so we need points. Um, it's another opportunity to go and get three points, and we have to take advantage of that. Haley uh, started training with you guys this morning. What were your kind of first impressions of her? Yeah, I mean, she's, she's, a, she's a top player, and she will be a, a, a even better player once she gets into the groove and gets more training sessions under her belt. Um, you know she's still very young and we have to be aware of that and we have to manage um you know her expectations and our expectations a little bit is you know she's coming off the back of a um you know a season and it's getting up to speed because we're mid-season now so you know we have to be patient with how we um, put her into into games and situations but you know, it's been one morning and, you know, we're out here in the afternoon trying to work on some other aspects of the game that, you know, is going to help them uh, and the team move forward. So, yeah, we take every opportunity that we can get without over killing the players. <laughs> um, and it's something that we wanted to bring into the into the culture and into the in the into the environment because we want we want to make playoffs and again it's another opportunity to uh, present our principles as a staff um, on the field. Now, now she may not be ready to, to start but do you feel like she could give you spot minutes this weekend? Potentially you know it's still early we, we it was it was a light day today this morning um, so we haven't seen too much game scenarios um, which we'll, you know, we'll see during the week, and then we'll make a decision uh, towards the end of the week on, you know, what what we feel is best for her. Looking at the Kansas City team again, you've played them twice technically this yeah. season, preseason, yeah. and then uh, that wild one uh, a couple months ago. Now, both these teams have kind of changed a lot since that point, but the the kind of general tactics are still there. The players are still there. What? How much can you take from those previous film sessions of your guys' games and then kind of employ it for preparation for this week? We just did a video session there and we just explained to the players this is this is what we need. You know, we didn't against Washington we didn't show as much as we would have liked of what we expect uh, in terms of, you know, in possession. So the players are it's still early, like the uh still learning and um educating them on how we want to play as a team and how we can manipulate the opponent um, they bring something different they you know they have five at the back and that's very difficult to break down it shows in some of their results why they're hard to beat so we have to work on that it's having to work on how to break down a back five with not a lot of space in between them lines um, as well as being you know, switched on to their to their quick counterattacks. They have speed. You know, they got Bennett, Hamilton, Kaiser, who can you know change a game just like that. When we're having good control possession, one turnover, you know, we have to be prepared for for that. Um, so, as much as you want to dictate play and you know try and move them and separate their back five, um, ultimately we have to be switched on to their quick counterattacks as well. For you and your kind of background defensively obviously playing as a center back you kind of understand the, the defensive principles a lot more than maybe some other coaches who have played in midfield or even as forwards um, I guess for, for your perspective um, is it easier to break down defenses having played in those defensive shapes and those principles there's all there's always keys to unlock a, a defense um, you know, this week, I, although we had a week off, I spent a lot of time trying to find different ways to to ex, exploit them and find the spaces and ideas, looking at other teams and what they do against back fives. And are we able to do that same same sort of strategy? Um, but 
I mean, there's no way of looking around it. The more you keep the ball, the less defending you do. <laughs> so, you know, the more we can keep the ball and pull them out of positions and be ruthless in front of goal, you, you don't have to defend as much. Kind of in that same vein with, with the, the pulling out players out of their positions, uh, in, in some of the more recent games, the, the ball movement has been good, but maybe a little bit too slow. With these kind of games playing at that back five, how do you kind of increase that pace of play and the, and the, the quickness of passes rather than, you know, taking a dribble or two and instead getting one, two, three passes in, in succession? I think it's doing the early work early. So it's doing your scans, seeing the space, seeing the opponent, seeing our players as well in them spaces and then making decisions on what they give you. So maybe in the last game we, we were a bit slow to make a decision, um, but we still create some really good opportunities to score and we have to take advantage of that. You know, 10 games to go, you're looking at, we have to have five perfect games. You know, you have to be ruthless in front of goal. When we get when we get opportunities to score, we have to take them, and we have to be defensively solid at the back as well for five 90-minute games to give ourselves a chance to make playoffs. Cool. Thanks, right. Seb. Thanks, no Seb. problem. Thank you. Trust your arm. Yeah. Right, we're going to work the left side now. 